Let's take this question. It says, describe the hybridization in case of PCL5. And why are the axial bonds longer as compared to the equatorial bonds? Fanciful. Let's take a look. Now, if you observe, first of all, PCL5, take phosphorus atom. It is argon, no, neon, 3s2, 3p3. If you draw the box diagram, it is 2s2, tp3, like this. If you want PCL5, see, just see the Lewis dot structure. Phosphorus has actually formed how many? It has formed five bonds. But valence bond theory says you can use only half filled orbitals for formation of bonds. By this logic, this phosphorus atom in its ground state should be able to form only three bonds. But I can see that in PCL5, the number of bonds is five. So there is only one possibility. And what is that? That this, although, is the ground state electronic configuration. But there is also something which is called as an excited state. So, let us take, and how do I get the idea? I get the idea by drawing Lewis dot structure. I drew the structure, I counted, phosphorus has formed five bonds. And in this, with this electronic configuration, I could have got only one, two, three sigma bonds. How do I get five? I'll make this jump here. Oh my God. So now I have one, two, three, four, five unpaired electrons and they are the ones which are going to form five sigma bonds and let me hybridize them. Why? So that they look alike. So I get SP3D hybridization. 1S, 3P and 1D orbital undergo hybridization to give me SP3D, five SP3D orbitals of phosphorus. And each of these sp3d hybrid orbitals overlaps with p orbital of chlorine atom and they give me pcl5 like this. What about the geometry? The geometry is very lovely. You would discover that this looks like pcl, cl, cl, cl and cl. If you just join each of them. Take a look. The red bonds are the ones which we call equatorial. And please note that they have a bond angle of 120 degrees each. You see that? Right. What about axial? You have axial bonds which just show a bond angle of 90 degrees when uh, the bond angle is measured with equatorial ones. Axial to axial is 180 degrees in case you choose to see that. Fine. So, are all the bonds similar? No. These are axial bonds. These are axial chlorine atoms and these are axial bonds. The blue bonds, the axial bonds are longer and weaker. Are, why are axial bonds longer? Yes, they are longer. Why? Because these axial bonds face repulsion from this, from this and from this. They face more repulsion. It is just in the center and from tank, 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 from all the three sides, CL atoms are rippling it. This is a trigonal bipyramidal structure, if you see. Since axial chlorine atoms face stronger repulsions from the remaining chlorine atoms, they are pushed slightly away. And that is why the axial bond becomes slightly longer and weaker.